Karthi Chidambaram's uh, case here is concerned. He has been uh, offered relief and this is uh, interim relief now here that's coming in to Karthi Chidambaram. Uh, it is relief from arrest by the Enforcement Directorate. Those arguments that have been put forth by Karthi Chidambaram's legal team here saying that he is uh, assisting in investigations, he's available under no circumstances should he still be in custody and further arrest. We have with us our correspondent Minakshi uh, getting us those inputs here. Minakshi, very clearly it seems that uh, Karthi Chidambaram's side of the argument here that he no longer needs to be under arrest for further investigation has been heard and taken <coughs> up by the court. Well, uh, Seher, at the outset, it was uh, Kapil Sibyl on his feet uh, for Karthi Chidambaram. And it was a bench uh, which had posed a query to Tushar Mehta, who was representing ED. Uh, when the bench of the Honorable Delhi High Court wanted to understand what is the material uh, that they have unearthed from Karthi uh, in the 10 days that they have had custody of Karthi thus far. However, uh, the ED was pressing for uh, further uh, custody and it was Karthi's case. Uh, that uh, uh, that uh, uh, coercive uh, steps against him by a disparate agency, in this particular uh, instance, the ED, uh, mm -hmm. should not be taken, uh, given the fact that uh, the CBI is already seized of the matter and he's already in custody. Uh, this was a preemptive pre step uh, that Karthi Chidambaram had taken. Uh, remember, uh, because, uh, uh, because uh, if he were uh, to procure bail from the CBI court, which is, uh, going to meet at around 2.30 mm -hmm. in the afternoon today. Uh, he was anticipating another prospective arrest uh, immediately uh, by the ED. So in order to preempt that, this application was filed at the Honorable Delhi High Court and the High Court has stepped in and has restrained uh, uh, the ED from taking any coercive measures until uh, the next date of hearing.